My journey with R5, with Thermorap R5, began when I selected a local builder to, that I knew was a good candidate for the product. Um, he used vinyl siding on his exteriors and it was a great situation um, for the R5 product. He was a Tyvek user and he was somebody that was always sort of at the cutting edge of things in our market. Um, so we went and talked with him. They were just getting ready to start a model home. It was a perfect opportunity. So we did get the model home install set up. The DuPont Tyvek team came into my market and we got it all set up, got it installed. I have a number of certified Tyvek installers in my market. And so we did use a certified Tyvek installer and they were really kind of funny because you know, they were kind of giving me a bad time about this new product. You know, it's new, it's different it installs differently than normal Tyvek does. Not more difficult, it's just a different situation. And so they were kind of giving me a bad time and I turned to them and I said, now wait a minute, you guys just got done doing that house over there that of course had Tyvek on it. And I said, you were giving me a bad time years ago when we were doing that one, you remember that? And they all kind of ducked their heads and nodded. And it was just interesting that they had become so familiar with the Tyvek product that something this different was a little startling to them at first. The inter interesting thing is is that the guys in my market they install everything pretty much off ladders and to watch them through the install figure out how to best handle it, how to best work with it, it was really it was really cool, it was really fun to watch them working through it. The window guy that installs our windows, he installed the model home, he also installed on mine and for him it was an absolute no-brainer. He didn't even think twice, didn't even actually need me here. I was fully planning on being available for him and I got here and he had half the windows installed already on my other and I'm like, uh, you have any problems? He goes, oh no, 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 you know, and he's just running right through it. Um, and actually a similar experience with the siding because we did have the same siding contractor that was installing for the model home that we had done six, eight months earlier was the installer that installed on my house. And it again, I he was supposed to call me so I could come out, make sure everybody was on the same page. And he would, again was flying through it by the time I got here. He already had one full side of the house done, was working on the next and that kind of thing. So it was interesting to see the transition from, you know, this is, a, this is difficult to install and some of the objections that we saw on that initial model to the new house. You know, that's probably one of the things that I would recommend. You really do need to look at that exterior and look at what details are you adding to it. On my particular home, we had some um, details above the windows. And on the first home that we did, we didn't give them quite enough of a nailing surface for those details. So it was important, I think, that we kind of looked at that a little differently. You know, things like shutters, it's okay, okay, do we need to worry about shutters? How are we gonna handle these? And, and some of those types of things.